Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another session of Elfion Cars Random Dota 2 Pub Games. So let's take a look at the bands. We got Tinker and Necrofold. Ten seconds out. remaining. And on the radiant side, we got the Blake Bad Bug, Nick Sasson, Viper, and another Flying Brethren, Visage on the side. Omni and Knight. on the dire side, Omni Knight just picked up, followed by Spectre, Earthshaker, and Ancient Apparition. Looks like that's quite a bit of a AoE goodness here, with a good deal amount of healing available on the dire side. And, uh, Leech being picked up on the radiant, not really sure about this pick. I mean, early game he's great, but late game not too sure about his uh, about his viability. We're gonna have to see how that pick works out for the radiant. Last pick for the dire. We're gonna see what they're gonna pick up. Ten but seconds looking at remaining. The Lineup so far. Five not seconds really remaining. confident with the radiant pick um, because uh, they don't really have much of an answer for uh, the dire heroes. Actually, now that Meepo is picked up, you get Chain Frost to actually deal with Meepo. But after a certain amount of time, once Meepo reaches like, you know, you know how fast he levels up, right? This guy's insane. Once he reaches a certain point, Leech Chain Frost is just quite pointless. Unless somehow it bounces only between two Meepo units, then maybe you're gonna do something effective about it. And not taking into account as well that most of these are Dying very low damage. Not a lot of burst damage. We're gonna see like Sven now. Uh, that might be a lot of damage coming out, but you have Omni Knight on the other side, so we're gonna have to see how that works out for them. Global Presence, AoE. Flash, uh, farming, leveling up thingy, and ridiculous amounts of heal, and pretty much physical DPS. Who, well, this is gonna be a tough game. So, I think the dire has this in the bag, but we'll see if I'm right. It's time for Dota. Okay, Kaylee Tokun, Shadow Amulet. Let's see how this goes. Can't wait for the next update to drop and oh, slight bit of lag and the smoke already popped on the radiant Prepare side. For battle. Looks like they're gonna go straight for. Uh, I'm not sure if they're gonna go gank or something, but Leech is already out there planting wards. The great position five hero, you're doing a great job. Thank you, Ruka. Continue contribution to the radiant team. Um, studs. So the dark side, they're pinging out the bottom. Looks like they want to con. Maybe do they want to contest for that radiant rune? I'm not really sure. They are smoked up though, and there's gonna be a disconnect coming up from the dire side meepo. Unfortunately, I disconnected for now. We'll see how long this is going to last. I hope they are not going to remake because I'm really tired and I really just want to get this. Uh, <laughs> just want to cast this game and then uh, go to bed. Right. So looking at the positioning so far, looks like it's gonna be Spectre and. Oh Shaker on the top lane, going the safe lane, and maybe Versace going on the radiant off lane. Hmm, that might be pretty okay depending on how things go. One good fissure could block him off and spill doom for him. He has very low uh, armor. Look at that, he's got zero armor and even worse magic resistance. But still, some points in Grave Kick was cloaked would give him uh, a bit of an advantage but if he puts more levels into this he won't be able to do that much damage because he's gonna need soul assumption to actually dish out damage and um, well <laughs> two against one it's still gonna be a bit difficult they're not that tanky but neither is Visage especially with his low ass armor of zero non-existent and uh, Love Shaker is gonna be disconnected as well so it gives a bit more time to talk about heroes gonna be Viper going for mid from the looks of it it's gonna go straight for the cell after getting that rune gonna be up against Meepo this could go either way from the looks of it and it's gonna be very dependent on like perhaps uh, Ancient Apparition or Earth Shaker's uh, rotations we're gonna see how that goes Leech not sure if he just walked uh, passing by or is he just going to wait and uh, you sacrifice on the creeps to give Viper a bit of an advantage in the mid lane because he's gonna need that. Me once Meepo hits like was at level four. Uh, let's see this. I can't really see. I think it's low. F very low levels. I mean, I can't really remember right now. But you know, 
once he reaches like one level in divided we stand he is going to flash farm and just get level so damn quickly right on the bottom lane that's gonna be nyx and sven so there's gonna be some very good uh stuns coming out on the bottom lane oh come on man don't do that i want to actually cast 30 this seconds game. to battle I don't want to see Sven own uh, Meepo. Even though I think that Raiden do not have the advantage this game. I, I still think Dai is going to win this, but we'll have to see about that. So Omni Knight going to be soloing off lane with uh, some tangles and uh, poor man shield. Okay, Meepo going to take the mid. Uh, sorry, yeah, it's going to take the mid and so they're going to give him the bounty rune. The Nyx is going to be there. It's going to rush straight in from the looks of it. Maybe drop the a heal to steal begins. the rune. Is it going to be able to get it? And maybe just steal the rune right underneath Meepo's face. Haha, -ha, in your face, Meepo. Fuck you. The Faker going to try to block the creeps as much as he can. Hasn't really done a great job. Did he use a fissure? Seems like he should have used the fissure. So it's going to be Spectre, supported by Ancient Apparition and Earthshaker. Yeah. Yeah, no, Visage, you are going in for a hard, hard game. So, bomb lane, Nyx, along with Leech and Sven. This is going to be a very painful lane as well. Omni Knight does have some heals, and he does have uh, Repel to actually save himself from the stuns, but might not actually get to use it. The stuns aren't going to come in. This is going to harass Omni Knight. Uh, what's his name? Tiltable player. Tilt table. Tilt table player. Yeah, him off the lane. So yeah. already Visage took quite a bit of hits. Right, he forced to use up a tango. And while mid lane Viper up against Meepo. Good. I forgot. I have to see that. Uh, let me actually see what levels he need. Oh, no, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Um, gonna see how this works out for Viper. Viper can dish out quite a bit of damage against Meepo and look at that, Meepo already forced to run the hell away. Gonna keep trying to chase him but he's gonna have that cell very soon. Alright, he decided not to use the cell and meanwhile top lane, Kilito Kun has killed losing control. Poor Ovisage, it was, it was kinda knew that was gonna happen anyway let's face it. And meanwhile mid lane, Viper might be able to get Another kill, but self is gonna be used and Meepo's gonna survive for this for the time being. Viper on the other hand has actually taken quite a bit of damage, but Meepo is one that needs to be careful after all. So all that poison damage could spell death for Meepo. And they're gonna be all dropped out and Meepo might be able to get a kill out of this and he does get a kill. And unfortunately the tower damage is not enough to finish off for Meepo. Now we're gonna hit level 4. Oh, no, Viper is only level 3. He was slightly behind, but still. Already kind of losing the lane already, unfortunately. Once Meepo hits level 4, Meepo bottom lane is Sword vs. Hammer. And Sven is just running away from the entire creep wave and along with Omni Knight. Doesn't have any levels in uh, Repel yet. Uh, I guess he's not going to bother with it because frankly if you get hit by one stun, you're going to go down. Like 3 stuns onto you is just not going to be fun. Well not 3 stuns, 2 disables, 2 stuns and uh, 1 slow. Meanwhile mid lane Meepo unfortunately scouts out Nyx Assassin and that was a very terrible rotation actually. Could wait for a bit more to like you know wait past the river a little bit and then I just walk straight in and then Meepo is going to just poof away and kill himself. And that's very inefficient way of actually healing your hero, I believe, going away from a fountain like that. Uh, per perhaps it's a new strategy I'm not aware of. You know, bottom lane, horror Omni Knight. That heals really the only thing that's actually keeping him alive right now. And he doesn't have any more regeneration of any kind. No mana regen, nor any... Okay, so he's got one mango that's gonna help him regenerate mana. Oh, sorry, health. Very, very, very slowly. Top lane, Visage, level 3. No one has brought the has upgraded the curry yet. Uh, nah, they're gonna lose this game. So mid lane, Meepo, level five, taking quite a bit of harassment from Viper actually, but still ahead of the game. Uh, Viper is like level four. Let's take a look at the map group so far. Viper, thousand five hundred. Okay, so Meepo's only slightly ahead, unfortunately for him. And that's only because like he got the kill on the Viper much earlier on. Meanwhile, Spectre is really going to the top of the network. Looks like he's gonna go for Vanguard yes. first. 
uh, might be a good idea. Quite a bit of uh, burst damage coming out from from the radiant side. You got like God Strength. Well, uh, Nyx could potentially burst you down. Chain Force, uh, arguable. It will take some time for. It depends on luck. And Viper Strike, well, you can just almost just TP away. There are only like two stuns anyway. And Sven's gonna be like farming. Nyx is the one that's gonna be running around trying to get people, but he's very, very low level. So he's level two. You can actually like see this bar here. Like, four Oath Shaker's only level one. Yeah, well, that's a position five for you. And might be going in for a kill onto Viper. Viper. That's already out of mana. He's taking quite a bit of damage from uh, Meepo, despite the fact that he's freaking melee. Oath Shaker really needs some levels. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Omni Knight, not having a fun time, but is slowly building up towards that soul ring. So once he has that soul ring, he can be a bit more aggressive because he actually like heal himself. And maybe the sun coming out looks like it's gonna be a storm fist and an impale coming out. Not giving enough not to actually do anything, unfortunately, because Leech was just a bit too far away. Frost Blast is gonna come in though, so he's gonna like try to deal as much damage as he can. But there is a shrine there, he's gonna heal himself. And AA, Ancient Apparition, actually joined in the fight as well. Not sure what he's coming in for, because frankly, it's not like he can do much about it. Uh, meanwhile, mid lane, Devar, the Viper, has gone down to Epo. Thanks for a little bit of help from the man cow. Top lane, Spectre, still farming uncontested. Unfortunately, his level has dropped quite a bit. Now, <coughs> Meepo middle is actually on top of level 2.9k and he's just gonna continue to grow. Look at that, he's already level 7. <laughs> Holy crap, he's got more levels than the three bottom heroes. No, wait, no. Almost the same level. 7 versus 8, not really that much of a difference at this point. It's an apparition is gonna try to help and kill off the four Omni Knights, but unfortunately, Sven is gonna go down to his four Omni Knight and might be able to get a double kill out of this. And, uh, Oh no, the kill actually went to uh, Ancient Apparition. Radiant's so, middle tower then, has fallen. Omni Knight just gonna kill off the Rogue Knight. And that's a Soul Ring too, and uh, looks like top lane is gonna be Visage kill, might kill off a poor, poor man cow and might be able to turn around kill, but it's still a level 5 Spectre up against Nyx, so he's gonna be able to run away. Homo's got himself caught there as well, but as a calling blade, so thankfully he's gonna be safe for now. Now that he has got the Vanguard, it's gonna be ridiculously difficult to kill. Radiant's Don't really have a lot of burst damage here. Uh, right now, at this point, they'll take him down quickly unless they're very lucky with the bounces. That Vanguard is just so ridiculous. Making it so ridiculous and tanky too. Sven, who's very reliant on like, physical damage, is gonna have a hard time trying to kill our Spectre. Uh, against Viper as well, to a certain extent, you know. An invisible ancient apparition gonna try to do his best to actually do something about it. Purification is used up, but doesn't actually do that much damage, unfortunately. It's only in level 3. And uh, Chilling Touch is used up, so ancient apparition actually like reveals itself for a little bit, but I think the invisibility was gonna wear off anyway. Meanwhile, mid lane, people. I'm having a pretty decent time right now. He's like 3.7k. Top two on the net worth, uh, well, currently belonging to the dire side. Be such level six finally it has that medallion of courage that you can't actually use on the uh, spectrum. I'm not sure how much damage that's actually going to do though. I mean, it's like five armor and this reduces seven armor. Okay, fine. I guess that does a little bit, but it's so much tankier. Still though, that's gonna be a lot of magic damage gonna come out from Vice Age. If they use, uh, oh, it was only level one soul or something. So that's actually not gonna do that much damage. A little weird build. Oh shaker, it's coming in. Can actually go and get the kill on Visage. I'm not sure why he's running away from. Ancient apparition is actually here. I just don't understand what the heck is going on. He's actually trying to go for a kill, dude. What the hell? Uh, well, too bad. So now kill's gonna happen. Not that I already need it. They already slightly ahead and. Uh, Poor Omni Knight getting slapped by the leech. Omni Knight really needs to try to heal himself, but it seems like the leech hasn't decided like now. Ain't worth much. It's a little bit more. I'm not sure why he didn't follow up. Kill a little bit there. Seems everyone's like playing a passive build or something like that. Oh shaker, drop the fissure, but unfortunately there's just that little gap over there, and Visage is just gonna be able to run away. Oh, level 11 already, and uh, is that boost of travel? Is that? 
Not the end of Booster Chuckles, just a TP scroll. Meanwhile, top lane might be seeing another kill coming in, but Visage manages to actually finish off the Ancient Apparition all oh, alone. Not sure how that happened. So that's going to be a little bit of gold going to watch the uh, of Visage, and uh, we're going to see how that will work out for them. It's going to be 6 to 2 now. Uh, net worth difference, not that huge. But we're gonna see. Oh, Meepo unfortunately just misses the net just by a little bit. And they're actually Meepo's now. Viper, he's gotta be careful. Like, he's literally 30% more levels than you do, Viper. Deva, top lane, Visage. Gotta be careful. It's all alone now. But still, only a level 4 Earthshaker it really needs those levels. Sorry, not level 4, so it's only close to level 4. Almost has it. Meanwhile, Spectre's Haunt has been used up. Looks like they're gonna try to go for Sven. And Sven uses God Strength. It's not gonna be enough, though. There's just so many heroes. He's doing so much damage, though. That might be enough. It's gonna be death to Omni Knight. Uh, sorry, I'll go to Rogue Knight. And there's gonna be Meeple's coming in. And um, unfortunately, they won't be able to get the kill onto Visage, but they Dire do get the kill onto Sven. That's really all they need right now. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Meanwhile, top lane, Earthshaker finally gets some space to actually farm. He's actually, despite his levels, though, he's actually Rain's very close to his uh, is under big attack. dagger at the very least. So Dyer's that's middle tower is under attack. Meanwhile, Viper, not too keen on this Viper, because really, I don't think he's actually like done much so far, but he's going for the Dragon Lance, so we're going to see how that's going to work out. Meepo already has a dagger, can actually try to go for a kill onto Viper it if he wants to. Viper just reveals himself, and that's going to be Meepo, it's a gang bam! Viper is the dream in that Oreo, oh yeah. And Nyx is finally coming in, but only level 4, can't really do anything much about it. In fact, I want to be careful. Meepo decides to turn his attention towards that bug, he's going to be squashed pretty quickly. And, but Meepo unfortunately just blinks the other Illusion. way and for now Nyx will get to stay alive for a little bit longer. So where is the Spectre? Going for a blade mail from the looks of it. Mm, I suppose that's fine, so he's going to be the frontline tanker, he's going to rush straight in and just go for uh, a tanky build. To try to absorb as much damage as he can while the rest of his teammates will just dish out the damage, I suppose, in his steed. And oh my goodness, there's images actually dealing so much damage to Nyx. Oh my, he's actually died, almost died over there. Wow, even the images are actually like killing him. Well, meanwhile, okay, bomb lane, Deva manages to kill off the poor Omni Knight, showing him whose god is more powerful. Obviously, Deva. It's gonna be like 450 gold going to us there. He's gonna need all as much gold as they can right now because if they really want to, they honestly they can't really keep up with people in terms of like levels at this point. The only thing they can do is just like make sure they are high enough levels so that they don't get like killed off by a single meeple combo. Because we saw what happened just now. Like he just went in and just slaughtered the viper, had like snake blood wine and uh Gonna scout out, unfortunately, that was gonna be quite useless for now. Meanwhile, top lane might be some fight coming up, but unfortunately, everyone's a chicken, and then the fight is not going to happen after all. Spectre is being, is being guarded by Ancient Apparition and Earthshaker. And oh my goodness, Ancient Apparition is gonna actually just go down to the, go to the familiars, and they're gonna try to go straight in. Spectre gets the kill onto. Uh, on to Nyx and uh, Visage, however, might be able to get a counter kill onto Earthshaker and yes, Earthshaker is gonna go down. The uh, Familiars are gonna just buy a little bit more time for Visage to run away, but unfortunately, it's not gonna be enough to save him from the Wrath of Spectre. Meanwhile, on the other side of the world, Viper actually went down uh, to, to Meepo again, and next on his hit list is Roshan. Oh, mighty Roshan, you are going down. Eventually. Soon. One day. Radiant's a... bottom tower is under attack. Roshan has fallen to the tower. Is that a curry? Wait, how do you get lights here? Am I missing something here? Never mind. So Spectre is gonna try to farm that big attack. ass stack of uh, neutral crease, but nothing is gonna be able to get it that easily. Seems like he's decided that he wants to go for a radiance instead of a blade mail now at this point. And uh, 
Looking at the towers oh, so far, only mid tower. Yeah, only one tower has gone down in like 15 minutes. Then we raid in mid tower, that's about it. Hmm, it's very slow actually. Considering that they have Meepo on, on the other side, I would consider that pretty slow. And so is this <laughs> creep wave farm. It just it simply does not have the damage to actually like pull that off, unfortunately. But well, with Meepo here, at the very least, I can actually like finish it off. Yes. Wait, this is like I still have been missing something. Seriously, since when? Oh no, the Fissure actually just blocks them out for a little bit. And uh, the heroes are all smoked up on the dire the side. We're gonna see how this will work out. Say hello to my lesser friends. And that's gonna be some teammates coming up. They do ping it out, they do see them, but not too much you can do about it at the point at this time being. Now um, let's take a look at Sven and see oops and see how he is yes. doing. He has a mask of madness, which is um, okay, but and he's working towards the Echo Saber, but yeah, it's uh they're gonna need much more damage than that if he wants to take out Radiance people. Top Tower. Meepo is, is level 17, it's almost 70% more level ah, than uh, the other guy. Sorry guys. Radiance there. bottom tower is under attack. So uh Anyway, so bottom lane, Deva Spiper just totally get owned by by people, and it's got an Aegis too, and they're gonna translate this into a push too. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a very fast push. They got so many images. Look at that, oh, and stuff like that. And you know what? I'm gonna say that Radiant's never use Guardian Angel because he never leveled it up. So yeah, okay, fine. Uh, apparently they're so confident that they don't really need Guardian Angel and that's gonna be a blast coming out from the top lane from the looks of it. Yeah, it's gonna come. It's gonna be quite a bit of damage onto Sven and Omnia's gonna come in and uh, okay, so it's actually not that much damage unfortunately. But Omni Knight, being the diligent hero that is, is gonna defend the top lane while the bottom tower does go down to Meepo. So that's gonna be a lot of money just going towards the dire side, and they're gonna translate that into perhaps another push onto the mid lane. Uh, they don't see Viper anymore. I think Viper actually may have scuttled out. Yep, one ward. They may have seen that smoke, but they do see the bottom lane. They do find Sven. It's a blinking. It's an echo slam, and it's gonna be a meepo. Okay, and back comes in. It's winter time. But unfortunately, the only death that's gonna happen here belongs to the leech. Visage comes in, but there's nothing much I can do about it. Vector Effect is gonna TP away to the top and just say adios. Nyx might wanna be careful. Oh no, they bring back in, and Visage is gonna go down yet again. The familiar sun it hits all of them, but it's not gonna matter. It's only gonna save him for only a short little while. Viper is gonna go down as well. That eye is totally unnecessary, and the only hero left is Nyx, and he's all alone right now. He actually used up. He actually kill off uh, Earthshaker. Radiant no, he was actually dying off a lot earlier. So there's gonna be Meepo. They're pinging it out. The Earthshaker's pinging the Meepo. Actually, there's like, please, man, don't kill yourself. Don't do that. You don't have ages though, so I'm not really sure. That's the worry. Actually, you can just potentially just go back in and uh, finish them off all by himself. Actually. Radiant's so that's gonna be like almost a team wipe. On the on the radiant heroes, foo boy, they're really gonna need to start working better together if they want to finish up. Oh. Radiant's oh. top tower already so far ahead. Let's take a look at the net worth. Holy crap! Just look at that bar. And the worst part is, that the second highest net worth hero in the entire freaking game is Spectre. Also on the dire side. So yeah, not gonna be fun. Nine k ahead, seventeen kills versus six. Not doing that well. And uh, oh man. Only Knight gets to TP away as well, uh, thanks to his uh, thanks to his repel. You don't actually can actually talk much about that, but I don't think his familiar stun can actually go through magic immunity. Can yep, nope. So once he has repel on, well, on himself or anyone for that matter, no one can actually do anything to like break through it. Well, you have Chain Frost, which I believe. Uh, doesn't do damage, but the initial cast does like have a mini sun, so you can stop his TP, I guess. But still, does not do much damage as long as Repel is up. So the only risk fight they might have against Repel is only uh sorry Rogue Knight with God Strength. But then they have Guardian Angel, so yeah, that's gonna suck. 
and a lot of them are like single target too with the exception of like Sven and maybe to a certain extent Leech and uh, Nyx is gonna find some ice cubes to eat at that mm -hmm -hmm. delicious licking I mean like trying his best to help to save his friend but apparently all he can do is just pick up his cloaks and then uh, order a few more service for his friend Ancient Apparition so so very poor uh, yeah not much of an exchange for the Radiant but uh, with stats like this, the gap like that, they're gonna need to take as much as they can. Omni Knight has Faith Boots and Midas slowly gonna work towards. Uh, uh, it's gonna work towards the Helmet's Halberd actually, which is a good choice. They do have Sven on the other side. They don't want a su you know a sudden like rampage coming out from him just because they neglected like oh yeah that guy has God Strength is ridiculously strong. I'll forget about that. Even though Dyer's you have that middle towers angel. under attack. Yeah, bottom lane gonna be smoked up and oh unfortunately we such breaks the smoke on the Omni Knight, so they won't be able to do anything about that. They're still smoked up though. They can still go for Visage if they if they want to, as long as he shows himself and they can potentially kill off the leech as well. So here they come. Might be able to go straight in. They're gonna use the hex and the echo slam comes in as well. Two dead heroes almost immediately. An immediate buyback from Leech. No buyback from Visage, no money available. Yeah, Viper is in so and uh might be able to just force a buyback and he's gonna run the heck away. Spectre is has the Sacred Relic already, just needs to farm a little bit more for the Radiance and then when that happens, he's gonna have complete global presence. She can just farm on the top lane push. Yep, they're asking her to push the top lane now because she has on. She can just come in anytime she wants. And there's gonna be Spectre coming in right now along with Meepo and he'll just finish off the poor lead. Let's not have buyback anymore. Guiding Angel is gonna be used up. But poor old Viper is now frozen net up and just getting smacked to death with a shovel. Gonna be GG from the looks of it. And Sven does have God Strength. He can go in if he wants to but he's all alone. There's nothing much he can do about it. They're gonna need to combo their sons together. And, uh, is pretty much used up. Oh no, no, the hex is gonna finish up. God Strength to the net. He stops him. He's kiting him away. Can't really actually do much about that. Echo o Slam. No way. Echo Slam has been used up. Oh, Shaker takes a lot of damage. Hippo actually goes down. Oh my god, that's a godlike streak going towards the such oh that was a really big exchange but unfortunately it goes to all heroes it goes towards Visage not really the hero to actually benefit that much out of it I mean if he can buy I got him skeptical the time. but I'm not sure how effective um, the next shot familiar is, is in attack. the context of this game I suppose they could push faster yeah but well, the capability to actually defend their base, it actually wouldn't really mean much. And they already lost one tower. So the shrines, uh, unfortunately, all opened up, and the Radiant Heroes are going to lose a lot of map control. Because look at that, they already have sh map control. It's crap. All these towers are all pretty healthy. This is a lowest HP tower. It's a little less than half, which really actually doesn't mean that much. Although Sven, if they do go for counter push, Sven can actually like, finish them off very quickly along with Visage and his familiars and uh, looks like they might be going for the top tower it is still a little over 50% uh, HP and might want to be careful though Earthshaker is around and Spectre already has a Radiance just need to wait for the Curry to actually bring it around and they do scout it out they find Earthshaker they see each other it's a high buy situation and there uh, might be another kill coming in if they're not careful Nick he finds the man oh but the sun actually comes in and he's gonna be able to run away the one actually is gonna come in but he's not really going to do much unfortunately Oh uh, no, well, they didn't actually need a frost blast. People just squashes the bug instantly. And that is a radiance completed on the Spectre. Oh boy, the pain train is coming. And, and they're gonna have to add a dose of ages on top of that. And the cheese as well. So yeah, good luck killing them, guys. I'm not sure how this is gonna work out. 33 kills versus 9, 8k lead right now. All from the meat boy, if I want to. Yeah, it's been much more to the one good alive. thing about this though is that Sven and Visage are now currently like on top of the network. Not counting Meepo, because really counting me. Right now they're just fighting for second place. Unless Meepo throws the game hard, like what he did just now. And gave one K go to like Visage. Well, we're gonna have to see how that works out. And uh, Meepo is gonna go chop and gonna just 
smack the tower down with shovel. Radiant's Extra effectiveness against fallen. architecture. And uh, the shrine's gonna go down as well. Bottom shrine, there's still one more remaining on the outside for the Radiant. But at the very least, this top one's gonna go down. And that's an extra 125 gold going towards every hero on the entire side. The gap just keeps getting bigger. Look at that. Show sure freaking K. That's crazy. Looks like they're not gonna translate this into a push though. This is a very good time for them to do it if they want to. They do have ages. Spectre can just. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Let me drink. You can just push. And now they smoked up. They want to look for heroes to kill. If they can kill Sven. Oh boy, let's look at the buyback status. Oh, and there's gonna be Spectre. It's gonna start the fight. Gonna burn the poor Rogue Knight to hell and back. And Meepo's gonna blink in. Ice Blast is used up. And all the actual stuff is gonna be finishing off the Sven. Besides, it's caught up along with Viper. And that's just gonna go down. It's a team wipe. Oh, and no one has Radiance buyback. This is a guaranteed top. lane. Pretty much. Actually, it's pretty much guaranteed two lanes. This is gonna go Radiance down so quickly. Middle tower has fallen. Yeah. Radiance Maybe three. Middle tower yeah. is under attack. And actually, it's most like it. Three lanes going down. I mean, what's Nick's gonna do? This is gonna be the next to come up. He's, he's coming out and there's gonna be five heroes up against Radiance him. He's still gonna get squished like a bug. Um, he is level Radiance nine. Middle barracks have fallen. Meepo has three times the hero level, so yeah, Meepo's gonna go in, finish off that Rax. Leech is gonna come in, but did even not get him? Nope, so that's not really actually gonna do much against Meepo. So they're gonna go straight for the top tower, but I don't know, looks like they're just gonna go straight for Throne. Spectre, all alone, just taking out the top tower. Not really effective, but they sent the cheese to actually fend off uh, some of that damage. But it looks like uh, Dyer decided, like, let's end their misery. We already won. Let's just finish the game now, go for the second one. And the Chicken Frost is gonna come up. Is it gonna actually kill anybody? Nope, it does give everyone a Radiant case of frostbite, but other than that, attack. not really enough to actually do anything about Sven does have God Strength, maybe he wants to go for one last hurrah before the Ancient go down? Definitely, Radiant yes, no, definitely, maybe. This armor is actually used up, Meepo's gonna go straight in, Bob is hurt, he's gonna die before he comes back. Yep, he does come back, but just to die, Sven is gonna come in and gets yield up. Oh, poor Sven, he's just not having a great time. Now he can't even attack, there's Halbert, all the force, the damage that's coming on, and he's all full. So now I'm gonna die in an icy coffin. Viper goes in, trying to do as much damage as he can to his Meepo, but the tower. Oh no, he actually. Meepo just ran straight back against Viper. And Meepo does go down after getting a triple kill. That might be a bit of a mistake. That was a bit of a throw. They don't try to finish off the Ancient right now. Swampy Knight trying to do his best to actually deal as much damage as possible, but it's eventually forced to, like. Back. Radiance top barracks are Meepo under attack. picks up the DD route and actually finish off the shrine. Meanwhile, Radiance top lane, top the Rax is gonna go down, and this means MEGA creeps. Oh, dire. 26k Radiance lead, 31 kills fallen. versus 11. Oh boy. So only Knight's gonna drop the hammer onto the ancient as much as he can. He's just trying to finish off the game. Yeah, look at that. Meepo's gonna drop in as dire well, and victory. that is GG for the Radiant side. Very one-sided fight, as predicted by yours truly. Well guys, if you liked the video and enjoyed it as much as I did casting it, just hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time for another session of Effion Cast Random Dota 2 Pop Games.